Right now, new worries about the flu this morning. A 12 year old boy in South Florida is the latest to die from the illness. It seems to be sweeping our country. Now one local school district is sending out a warning to parents, urging them to watch out for signs of the virus. Mark Lehman is live at Central Care in Altamont Springs this morning. Doctors saying that this appears to be the worst they've seen. Yeah, so far, the flu is be being blamed for the deaths of at least 30 children, including the latest in South Florida this week. Now, here at CentraCare, physicians say the outbreak is likely to continue for several more weeks. He went to school Friday. He was at a birthday party this weekend with a lot of kids. He came home with a fever, and then he went away. Then he said that he ate, and that's it. He's gone. Speaking through an interpreter, Sergio Winnick says his son Dylan first got sick on Monday. By Tuesday afternoon, he was gone. The South Florida teen dying from what the family describes as an aggressive form of the flu. No family should feel the same pain that we're going through right now. It's the latest death in what's been one of the most active flu seasons in recent memory. Widespread outbreaks have been reported in nearly every part of the country. While speaking to News 6, Dr. Timothy Hendricks says it's one of the worst he's ever seen. We are seeing an incredible number of patients coming in the central care with the flu. Mm. Right now, 12% of our visits are flu related. Hendrick says the flu might seem like a cold at first, but symptoms tend to come on more suddenly with a high fever and pains. The first 48 hours are crucial to get to a doctor for treatment. This is going to go on for a number of weeks. We're probably going to peak out here in a week or two, but mm -hmm. that means at least two to three months of flu activity. Which is why Centra Care also says it's never too late to get a flu shot. The Seminole County School District is echoing that as well. In a, let, in a letter sent home last week, the school district is urging parents uh, to keep sick family members at home and contact a health care provider if anyone experiences flu-like symptoms. Bridget. Okay, thanks so much, Mark.